Hey, what's up guys, the only deceiver here, and I'm going to show you how to set up a server, start it, and configure it with the uh, Java JDK, and rename your server, stuff like that, in less than five minutes. Alright, so first we're going to edit the server, and don't worry about CFG or class files. So CFG is the files you'll edit later for configuring your game. In-game, never try to open class files, those are compiled files. So click on one file, scroll down to the last, hold shift, click, right click, edit with notepad++. Plus plus. If you don't have it, then go get it. So make sure all the files are closed in notepad++, plus plus. reopen it, and um, find address. So here's the address supposedly. Um, Escape 317 is my friends, and then BK is another. Well, we just want to find the address, so. Usually, you could find it around here. Not always true. Also, a lot of people use no IP, so you can search for that. And, uh, it is in server, so I found it. So, you just want to edit this part to whatever you want it to be. So, I already edited it, and I just want to put, uh, alright, just editing that really quick, you close all these out, and don't forget Control S to save, and then compile. Now, for compiling, you want to check your Java, if it doesn't work correctly. So, you just want to go into C, Program Files, Java, slash Java, yeah, and then, match up these so 1.7.0 underscore 07 is this so just change it change the number and it should work up fine as long as it's JDK so see for that is this one's a little complicated alright now if it says uh, it gives you an error access denied now uh, I did this on purpose so basically I made everything hidden and then just click apply, apply all, okay, and then you could try it again. Runs perfectly fine. Okay, so now you click uh, run server, and it says it's running, and I definitely messed up on that, but it's running on distress.noip.biz, which would be yours. I definitely recommend getting no IP Duke right here. <clears throat> Make sure it's running and you want to select your host and I have a group and I also have this so make sure it's clicked and then click save Refresh also I do uh, preferences run on startup system service use alternative IP detection method So that's my little settings And if you do not have it set to this you could also do it in here or reinstall with the correct version and so on. So now that the server is completely set up, go to your client. You're basically going to do the same thing. Scroll down, and I do sort by type. Just if you're wondering. Now, all of these are hidden as well, so some are read only. Just gonna apply them. Click OK. Alright, now click on it, scroll down, right click, edit. Notepad plus plus, and then no IP, or you can search for address, either or works. But I already have this all set up, so make sure you have this correct. It's in client and also in EUGI. And then save them. Also compile this as well, and you may have to edit this. Also, sometimes you have to edit this for uh, depending on how you want this customly set up and I click run server's running do not exit this if it's a 317 server unless it's fully customized without using it so now you can log in with any username password and I'm signed on so this is the only deceiver signing out if you have any questions comments or requests just uh, message me comment so I'll see you guys later.